Hey everyone and welcome back to our journey of showing Casey the scary movie films. We kind of started with this journey after she had watched all the Scream movies. I think we might stop after this one. Mostly because I think I heard that they get worse. There's two more, four and five. Let us know in the comments if you want us to continue this journey. But I actually, if we do continue, I haven't seen four or five. Yeah, comment down below. So, I mean, we could see if y'all want us to keep going, maybe we will. I have been anticipating getting to this one just because I know that Casey's probably gonna love this one more so than any of the other ones. The first two were a little bit more raunchy because they were rated R. These start going to PG-13 comedies. And this one is actually directed by David Zucker, who directed Airplane and Ooh, the Naked Gun that. films. Mm -hmm. so. Love both of those. And I know Leslie Nielsen is in that. He does pop up Love in him one. too. Mm -hmm. Also, full disclosure, Casey had never seen The Ring or Signs. And this might sound crazy to y'all, but we just didn't have time to watch those movies before continuing this one. I showed her recaps of those movies. You're right. So she's yeah. spoiled for those movies if she ever chooses to watch them. I know the gist. I'm, I know that's like, people are going to be like, ah! You committed the most horrible movie crime. Atrocities. We didn't have time. I got yeah. the gist. The ring looked scary anyway. <laughs> um, Casey would not have liked the ring. So, I think she would have been fine with signs. Signs seem, I mean, but like, then again, the ring did seem interesting. But like, mm. we just kind of like basically watched like a speed run version, you know? Because yeah. it was like, they did this and they did this. And <laughs> speed this run, like a video yeah. game. So, I mean, like, both of them, I probably would have liked. I probably would have gotten scared of the ring. Yeah, but like Science it was, not so it was interesting trying to figure out what was happening <laughs> through the through thirteen the minute ring. recap yeah. that we watched. <laughs> she was, I saw her. She was like, I was like tilting I her was head. Like, wait. Yeah. But anyway, so <laughs> so I I know probably like the gr like the greater plot points that they'll probably try to spoof because I doubt they're gonna go into like the super detailed the fine details. There are other stuff. movies that get spoofed in here too. It's not just yeah. those two movies, but I do think that those two movies are a little bit more emphasized than some. Some you have seen, which I'm not gonna. Spoil spoil that, but I'll just let that be a surprise for when you see it and then you'll understand like, oh, I know that movie. Mm. Because I think they don't just do horror movies or scary yeah, movies. Yeah, I mean, because the last one did Charlie's Angels. Exactly. So. so there's a couple more references like that that I'm yeah. sure you're going to pick up on. Magnetic waves shrink silicon molecules. Like your implants? <laughs> oh my god, turn it off! But after you watch the tape, the phone rings. You get the reference. Yeah. It comes on and says you're gonna die in like seven days. Seven yeah, I days. saw that one with Josh last weekend. You're with Josh last weekend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I was! <laughs> oh, you <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why'd you have to whip your hair? Gollum or Smeagol? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh! Are you okay? <laughs> oh no, you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pamela Anderson. Now signs. No, oh, I yeah. am. Why are you not <laughs> checking on that? You gotta go. Dang, is it easy to just pause it like that? <laughs> no, it hurts. <laughs> oh, oh, you hear? Shh. The dogs are acting strange. It's the Roman Empire. Because wasn't he, jo well, not him, but yeah. Joaquin Phoenix? Yeah. <laughs> was that that? It was, uh, yeah, he was in uh, Gladiator. It's Karn. Remember that meme? It's like two years too late. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be something dumb. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Women's intuition or ESPN or both. ESPN? ESPN? They want hard hitting stories and in depth coverage and. and. and twins! Ah! What? what is that? Ah! <laughs> Dogs that love cats and, and twins! <laughs> I feel like this was like a, a beer commercial back in the day. All I know is my crops are gone. The bank's gonna foreclose if I can't pay the rent. I got 60 days to come up with a dollar fifty. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you needed was <laughs> There's always an explanation for all this so-called phenomenon. Maybe you're right. There's signs. And when I get through with them, 
I see what's going on. Strange on this farm for a long time. Her hat keeps getting bigger. Oh. Do you have this in the <laughs> I, <now. laughs> I was waiting. How I didn't long? notice till she got in the car. <laughs> That's like three different size changes. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to the signs. George! Why is it like Channing Tatum? I have to get ready for my show. Not that stupid hip hop stuff again. Damn it, George. When are you going to do something with your life? I got a dream. What is your dream? To have a dream. Is this like 8 Mile? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen 8 Mile in so long. Rap battle. Oh, for God's sake. You just hate me because I'm black. <laughs> Does she have a kid? I'll wait again, Aunt Cindy. Uh oh. <laughs> Look. Oh, Brenda! I'm glad Brenda's in this. I've been working so hard. You know, I've had to spend more and more time at the station. The news just keeps coming. <laughs> oh, like those pictures? What was the assignment? Yeah, I'm glad you showed me the recaps. There's a girl with black hair. She wants to kill you. <laughs> Watch there actually be one? Starts in three. Two, what? One. <laughs> From now on, I'm gonna be thinking about you 24-7. He's not even in the freaking car. <laughs> Wait, Cindy! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! He's fine. Aggressively drawing circles. Honey, I'm gonna be leaving soon, so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who she is? Oh. But sometimes she talks to me. He's coming tonight. I'd put him up for adoption. That kid is creepy. It's all over for babysitters. I don't mind filling in now and then. Where is little Cody? Oh no! <laughs> Back in his room playing. <gasps> anyway, I left a number where I can be reached on the table. Also, he has a little rash on his behind. So make sure he takes a bath. Cody. Back to eight mile. We That's keep... so random that eight mile was involved in it. It was popular around this time. <laughs> we keep switching universes. <laughs> the beanie. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Not this again. I can't. Oh <laughs> God. Why do they always do that? <laughs> like one scene every movie that just disgusts me. I just got a weird feeling. Something bad is heading my way. Like. When you see an Asian person behind the wheel of a car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I count cash, count sheep. Better not sleep on a beast, come Oh, no. What do we think? Oh, Simon Cowell. I thought you were both absolutely dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> Club is totally pathetic. That's funny that he had a cameo. <laughs> This is the peak of American yeah. Idol as well. Let's give it up to Fat Joe! But he wasn't, but this nigga end up having kids with his cousin. <laughs> he rabbit out the battle me eight miles down the road. Yes, eight miles. Uh -huh. <laughs> he tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a white boy, but my neck is red. I put miracle whip on my one to red. <laughs> How many bitches have I slapped? Zero. <laughs> and Martha Stewart happens to be my hero. <laughs> I can't dance. I wear khaki pants. My middle yeah, name's yeah. Lance. My grandma's from France. <laughs> Cause my skin ain't black. But you can't talk smack. Cause Whitey just struck back. <laughs> It's over, your phone rings, and a creepy voice says, You're gonna die in seven days. And, uh... <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Tampa? Oh my god. Oh. It's like, and she's the man. It absorbs right up! <laughs> Aww, Brenda! Oh my god, you bitch! Brenda! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, know, that'd be gross to put ketchup in your nose. Oh no, is she actually gonna die now? Oh. No, she's gonna be playing again. Oh, whoa! Ah, uh, Brenda, nobody's ever gonna believe you when you really die. I can't believe you fell for that fake seizure! It seems so real! It did, didn't it? It did! Oh! I really sold it! Oh my god! Cindy? Oh, forget it. I am not falling for it again. 
Oh, you called it. Mm -hmm. The boy who cried wolf. Cindy, the news is on. The news? <laughs> But the whole world gotta stop for one little whitey down the hall. <laughs> Cindy, the TV's leaking. I feel like I just realized in the movie there's so much water because she was in the well. Cindy, right? Yes. What's wrong here? <laughs> Why'd I put that together in this movie? Because you didn't watch the whole movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Interactive. It's 3D. What? Oh. Cindy, this bitch is messing up my floor. <laughs> Oh no, How do, she has like 10 desserts. Oh, <laughs> Brenda? Ugly bitch. <laughs> I love Brenda. What you gonna do? That's all? Hey. 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 Oh, ooh. Hit her back. What the heck? She learned all that in the well. Is her face gonna be like the face? Yes, of course I'll tell her. Sue's teacher, Brenda. She's dead. But did they kill her for real or will she be back in the next movie? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen the next movie. Sue? Yes? You know your teacher, Miss Brenda? Yeah. She's dead! <laughs> <laughs> no! Like who killed his wife inside? Oh yeah, oh, M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> he also killed the Avatar live action. <laughs> Might be next on this channel. I hadn't fallen asleep while driving for that exact twenty minutes. <laughs> twenty minutes? Like that exact whole bottle of liquor. <laughs> if only I hadn't killed that hooker. Sorry. <laughs> so if I haven't been making terrible decisions the entire night. I'm excited. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> it's your wife, Father. She's hurt. Annie? She was hit by a truck and she's pinned against a tree. To be honest, that was like sad in the recap. This is your wife. Oh no, not the visual aid. She broke her wiener. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Annie. She's split in half. You mean like down the middle? And half? <laughs> Hot dog or hamburger? <laughs> you mean this is the last time I can talk to the top half? Oh no. Let's say this is her bottom half. Can I squeeze in a few minutes with that? No, oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Let me explain. Tom. <laughs> Tom, I'll need a ride home. Oh, God. <laughs> Murderer. Hi, baby. I'm pretty sure this is Denise Richards. Like his actual oh, wife at the time. Yeah. She was in Super Starship, Starship, Starship Troopers. Troopers. Yeah, I hated her in that movie. She was the real villain. I could watch our reaction to that. Promise me you'll never remarry. Ew. Oh. A spark plug. <laughs> Promise me you'll never remarry. Oh my god. Sex either. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Hey, you're not speaking. Really. Your injuries must be awful. Oh, sex. Oh. oh no. This is what he's gonna like <laughs> misunderstand. Oh, we hardly knew her. We missed her. Just tell George, swing away. <laughs> oh, sure. That you understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Tell me, dude. I'm not a stoner anymore. <laughs> the Mexican head does! It follows you everywhere. For, for rent. Because she died? Oh! My sweet, sweet Brenda. She looks so peaceful. So. <laughs> These just came today. Photos from the trip she took. Is her face gonna- Oh, they're just blank. They're blank. I turned them around, honey. Oh, <laughs> wait, I thought they were like- <laughs> You were like her. <laughs> the face That's is right. like- <laughs> <laughs> That's just how he looks. Cody, it's a boy. He's going to be an asshole. Oh! Smoke all you want. You're gonna get hit by a bus. Oh. That's not fooling anyone. Well, you didn't need to be him to know that. Sue wanted to pay her respects to her teacher. Both of these she kids were creepy bitch. in these movies. <laughs> She's my bitch! <laughs> Can't believe they just leave it out here like this. George, it's awake. Awake? Brenda! <gasps> oh, no! I thought you were dead! <gasps> Sue, your teacher's alive! Hello? Oh, no! Oh. I got you back, George! I got you back! <laughs> <laughs> You 
can tell this definitely feels more like airplane. Yeah, yeah. Like naked gun. <laughs> Just to go out like oh, that. Oh, like just get, get blown, blown to pieces. Oh God, it's so hard. Well, you're beautiful. Oh. You're up oh. Me. <laughs> I know you'd never consider going out with a guy like me. I don't know if that was the time. Not too busy tomorrow night. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe it was. Shoot your shot. Shoot or shoot. Yes. That's like from that one movie we watched where <laughs> Will Ferrell was in it and picked up girls at funerals. What? Wedding Crashers? Yeah, remember that? Will Ferrell was such a small part of that movie. It was Owen Wilson okay, and Vince Okay, but it reminded me of that part with Will Ferrell. Yeah, where the, they... the funeral crashing. He doesn't know you're a guy. <laughs> this kid, he's so fucking weird. I would have so put him up for adoption. <laughs> The no, tape. the tape! Is it a copy of a copy of a copy? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what? Really nice? <laughs> can you hear me now? Do you remember those commercials? Oh yeah, can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> seven days? Oh my god, I'm gonna die next Monday? Yes. No. Not on a Monday. That would be seven business days. Oh. That's seven days starting now. <laughs> it's too confusing. But there's a holiday coming up. Do you count the holidays today? <laughs> that depends. What holiday? <laughs> Martin Luther King Day? Then no. Somebody at work is taking it off. Jesus Christ, lady. I'm getting seven days. <laughs> I can come over there now and kill the shit out of you if you'd rather have that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Yeah, yeah, a paint gun? <laughs> That's actual paint! <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy who got threw up on. You can't focus on me. Now it's just paint! <laughs> the stage is a paint. Try to shit, George. Oh, yes. <laughs> Seven business days. No, not oh. seven business days. You misheard. You would have freaking thought you had like a couple extra days. How is it not seven business days? It's just seven regular days. Oh. <laughs> You're like Cindy. <laughs> the title of this video, Cindy is literally me. <laughs> Who will take care of Cody? George, you can watch the weird kid. Great with kids. Heads up, Cody. I'm okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Get a get a boy. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm off. Oh my gosh, the cars. Pretty sure you're gonna get some references here that you're not gonna know. Definitely not gonna know. But you might. You saw the first one. But you can call me the Queen Latifah. Old. And don't worry about that vase. Oh, Matrix! It's the Matrix! I don't remember much of the Matrix. That's one I need to do a rewatch. And I only ever saw the first one. I know why you've come. It's a lot the of cigarettes. Mystery lies ahead of you. Oh, whoa. But you must not shy away from the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you made a copy of the tape. Let's see. That's okay. Shaniqua, can you tell me if the tape is connected to the crop circles in the aliens? Yes. Look, it's a cigarette? <laughs> That's a lighthouse. Find that lighthouse. It's your destiny. The Ew! You need to pick it out of the screen. Ugh. Oh my god. Reminds me of Mike Pence. And I want everyone to know who puts on the uniform of law enforcement every day. <laughs> <laughs> now, baby. Oh, hell no. Get your ass. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Let him go! Let him go! Yeah! Oh, we're gonna get another lawsuit! Another lawsuit? Did you quit? Yeah! Fight it! What you gonna brush? What you gonna brush? Oh! 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 Oh!
seaweed come out of? It's the rock! <laughs> What did I say? Like, TV rots your brain. How could you let him watch the tape? I didn't... <gasps> he has, like, premonitions and shit. He shouldn't have known better. I blame the kid. How are you doing? Fine. Enjoying your last week? <laughs> Six days now, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was great catching up. Can I speak to Cody? Why? <laughs> he didn't watch the tape. Yes, he did. Come on, Cindy, I do this for a living. Don't tell him how to do his job. Hello? Hello, I'm calling for Reader's Digest with a fantastic offer for Cody. <laughs> oh, don't fall for it. No, you're not. <laughs> I need a little girl from the tape. <laughs> okay, you got me. This, this is like a man's voice. <laughs> no, <I know. laughs> uh huh. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Taking a message. Don't read it. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I just remember what happens here. I'm like preemptively laughing. Joke? I can't sleep. Oh, this was another movie, I think, with uh, Nicole Kidman. <laughs> the others? You rock me to sleep in your big, strong arms. That's weird, you're his daughter. There's plenty of room under the covers. You don't need to wear pajamas. Where's my daughter? I am your daughter. No, no you're not. not. <laughs> <laughs> what a Michael Jackson! <laughs> oh. I can't touch her, I swear. Oh my goodness! Please, please, <laughs> She's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was not anticipating this in the slightest. How do you like it, huh? Oh, oh what are you hung his blanket or yeah, his it was baby? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the nose. I feel like we're getting later that I like know these references. <laughs> I'm no offense to this child, but he looks he's creepy. He's fucking just weird. There. He's weird. It, is it the haircut? Evil videotape oh. that kills people in seven days. Alien forces <gasps> threatening the world. He's the president. The oh, my, you know what? Where was he this whole time? <laughs> right here. <laughs> the cigarette. The cigarette. You're not gonna get this reference. Well, what is it from? I don't want to spoil it. Maybe a sequel to a movie that you have seen. I'll leave it at that. Matrix. <laughs> it's the Matrix. I feel like I, they're spying on you. <laughs> what? It's the Matrix. They're always watching. <laughs> Obviously. You are the eventuality of an anomaly. You are inexorably seeking a sedula probability. What the hell does that mean? My wife and I wanted a child, but she couldn't get pregnant. Neither could I. <laughs> Loved our daughter, but she was evil. <laughs> Made the horses crazy, killed our puppies, hid the remote. Really sick shit. <laughs> I took her to the old family farm and drowned her in a well. <laughs> so casually! Simple timeout would have been sufficient. <laughs> I imprinted her evil on a video. <laughs> Simple timeout. I put it in the wrong box and returned it to Blockbuster. Blockbuster! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss take that. me back! Friday night, getting movies and a snack. And now, reports of lights in the sky. Glimpses of space. <laughs> <from> <laughs> <possible> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Disturbing home video tonight from a ranch outside Sydney, Australia. Remember that video, like that he saw Joaquin Phoenix. Carefully now. Uh. There, 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 there. <laughs> and this just in from Sao Paulo, Brazil. <laughs> Let's see that again. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Very disturbing. <laughs> and this just in from South Texas. Put a pinch at 956. I like how that was South Texas. <laughs> if your presidents have faced a crisis like this, I wonder what President Ford would have done. President <laughs> Ford! The young, the old, black, and white. Our Native American friends. Hey, how are you? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking, Johnson. What if the aliens could take over human bodies? That happened in Doctor Who. I never thought of that, sir. We should be on alert for anything suspicious. They could be anywhere. <laughs> we'll just move slowly toward the exit. Uh, oh! oh. <laughs> What's happening? I hear you. Oh, never <laughs> Oh, 
ones have metal teeth. Oh my Jerry, goodness! Kids. <laughs> what? Everybody clear! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Teresa! Oh Just no, the wheelchair! You're excited. You should feel my nipples. <laughs> After today's incident in the East Room, the White House is now advising all citizens to board up their homes and prepare for an alien invasion. Project Blue Beam. <laughs> killer videotape you've been hearing about we're the only station that has it and we're showing it all night <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so everybody's gonna die in seven days we can't do that stuff that's great george but we have to get down to the cellar <laughs> <laughs> she just easily got through she just boarded it to like the actual door your mom cut your umbilical cord herself well in the second try first time she snipped your penis in half <gasps> oh after all, she was drunk <laughs> Actually drugged. What? We were celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Goodness. She thought, hey, I never tasted crystal meth. So tasted? <laughs> a penis. <laughs> they sewed it on upside down. So that's why I pee up. Are you okay? I don't know what. The idiotic thing made these lights go off. <laughs> if I can get to them, I can get these lights back on. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> it was so out of nowhere. <gasps> oh, sweetie, come here. It's okay. I'm like still laughing. <laughs> Stop it happened like two minutes ago. <laughs> oh my god. Can you see them? What are they doing? They're gray, ah! they're full of black eyes. Their teeth are grotesque. Oh, <laughs> they're looking too! I think they're giggling. What? <laughs> oh no, what do you got to Like his hand? Swing away. The hand? Swing away. Swing away! <laughs> what your wife said! <laughs> Man, I told you the hood's always got your back. <laughs> Good. They couldn't get in. Uh, I hear they can't open doors. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> They're not allowed to drive. Sorry, I thought I was hitting the brake. Don't have to go through insurance, do we? <laughs> Forty bucks. Do you hear that? The hip hop music. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> the hood's got his back. Oh. <laughs> Told you the hood always got your back. <laughs> yeah, who we gotta shoot? <laughs> it's yeah. That's the mess, shoot, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> These men died for their country. Send flowers to their bitches and hoes. Without their heads, they're powerless. <laughs> we mean you no harm. We came to your planet to find an evil little girl. <gasps> the ring girl. We must destroy her before seven days. Oh my gosh, they were good. You watched the videotape? Our satellite picked up what we thought was pooty tang. <laughs> See, they are peaceful. Well, if they're so peaceful, man, why were they choking us a few minutes ago? That's how we say hello. <laughs> if you think that's strange, you should see how we pee. <laughs> Ew! That would be, like, kind of convenient. So we're not so different after all. <laughs> oh, is this the well? <laughs> Cody, for all that foresight he has, he can't <laughs> see things coming. My wife took her to the old family farm and drowned her in the well. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Sydney! She's just like ready to scrap at any moment. <gasps> oh my goodness! Is that supposed to be like Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Texas Leaf Blower Massacre. Okay, well, that was self inflicted. Don't worry, Cody. I'll save you. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Monster. You don't have to be evil. I know what your mom did. That was wrong. You were just a little girl. Maybe all you need is a mother. You just need love. Oh. <gasps> and a brother. The, uh, whoa. Why does it get emotional? We could be. Oh. Tabitha, it's not your fault. It's your bitch mother's fault. Whoa, what? Thank you, Love. <laughs> your love has broken the curse and freed you. So you'll never have to kill again. Wow. Oh, oh, what? Tabitha! <laughs> that wasn't funny. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> We're all counting on you! <laughs> Love that callback. Hey, congratulations, George! <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? That seems like I'm that like, was like you said ghost like ghost face. face. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? I'm just curious because I said it in the last one. I thought this one might. Wait, be. like out of these or like out of the scary first movies? three? No, no, oh, this, these oh, three. Oh, like the franchise. The franchise scary, scary movie. movie, not your favorite scary movie. Probably this one. I thought that was gonna be the case. Which seems crazy, but like I don't know. I think like. Leslie Nielsen kind of took it over the top. He was in there for like maybe I know, 10, 15 minutes. Like, he took it over the top. But like yeah. this one also, it did feel a lot more like Airplane and the Naked Gun. Yeah, yeah. And they, I really like those movies. Casey so. watched them on the channel. So yeah. if you want to see her reactions to those, yeah. go check them out. I watched all the Naked Guns. Pop up here actually. on the screen. But yeah, this definitely was a little bit more lighthearted in terms of yeah. like the raunchiness the raunchiness was still there it was but it, but was, it was like tamer. it was a little bit more ambiguous you know like right. the priest just shows shows up and right. then like lights a candle and yeah. brings out a bottle of wine and things like that so much as like you know seeing Ray's you know what pull a clown <laughs> back under like the bed or yeah. just things like that or Sydney getting blasted off into outer space yeah like Team Rocket but <laughs> via something else <laughs> <laughs> bodily fluids the last one i thought had more of a narrative structure but this one definitely had more of a narrative structure than any of them mm -hmm. and i kind of enjoyed it like it felt like it was like a storyline yeah. but like it it was kind of cool how they combined Signs the two and the i mean there was like other like yeah. other movies kind of thrown in but like those were the two main ones but they kind of combined the plot lines and mm -hmm. like made their own kind of story yeah like the well was um, at the farm from signs yeah so it, it kind of felt like there was like a whole movie, like a whole story told, and then like bits of humor put in. And like the stuff with Brenda was freaking hilarious. Like that was so funny. I just killed her. Yeah. <laughs> and there was just her dead body at the wedding. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean like it, it's hard, to, it's hard to say though, because like I feel like I do like this one out of all of them the most, but like it's not like, oh, like this one's like way up here or anything. Like I feel like I did enjoy, like I laughed throughout, I thought they were all funny yeah. throughout, but I do think that this one was just more my type of humor. I saw this one for the first time with like my parents' permission. <laughs> the first two I saw as a kid, but I kind of had to sneak around my parents yeah. to watch them, where they I think dropped me off at the theater to go watch this. I may have been, when did this one come out actually real quick? I want to say it's 2003, 2003. So I was 12 mm. when this came out. So I mean, I was even younger when I saw the first two, which is kind of crazy to think about. I feel like it's just a different kind of humor yeah. and humor that didn't necessary it towed the line but it didn't yeah. cross the line i feel like yeah. that's the best way to put it yeah which i mean like it definitely had a different feel from the first two mm -hmm. and like if you are a big fan of like the first two's type of humor i could see how you would go into this one expecting that and like not getting yeah. that and being like think it's a little bit more kiddie? disappointed yeah, yeah because like you know there is the, obviously the first ones are popular for a reason and like I do feel like the first one in particular is like an iconic movie mm. for a reason and like this one just had a, a different feel and a different vibe to it yeah I feel like I've grown an appreciation for this one like as I've gotten older I have not seen this one in many many years but 
I think I remembered this one the most vividly. That's why I kind of figured that Casey was gonna like like this one a little bit more than the first two. I don't think at that time I'd even seen like Airplane mm -hmm. and the Naked Gun franchise, which I saw that after. And I feel like I've grown more of an appreciation for that type of humor after the fact. Mm -hmm. um, and there was definitely a lot more of that type of humor here. Honestly, just like some of the small things, yeah. like the dude cocking the sh the fucking yeah, shovel like, and like a shotgun like shell popping out. Honestly, like I feel like I'm weird because the dumbest things make me laugh. What was the thing you laughed at? <laughs> the scream. The scream. His scream in the <laughs> damn fucking basement made you laugh harder than anything else so, in this I entire mean, like... freaking franchise. <laughs> Not even this movie, but the franchise was his damn scream. This is kind of unrelated, but I'm just gonna say it anyway for the sake of like conversation. I do think out of all these kind of parody-ish spoof, kind of whatever genre this is, mm -hmm. I think Airplane's my favorite. Like out of Airplane's Airplane, iconic. Naked Gun, Scary Movies, Air Airplane, I think to, like I really like the Naked Gun series too though. Yeah. But I think Airplane I think is like my favorite. Blazing Saddles could be combined Blazing and like I, I enjoy that one a lot. Solid. But like Airplane, I think is my favorite comedy yeah. I've seen out of this type of kind of style, I guess? Yeah. It's interesting because all those movies, besides the first two scary movies, were directed by the same person. Yeah. You know? But I'm not Blazing Saddles, that was Mel Brooks, but <laughs> I just think that, you know, the scary, the first two scary movies took it a little more. Yeah. In terms of like, well, Raunchiness. they really went there. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I don't think that you thinking Airplane is the best out of all these movies that you just named is a very controversial statement. You might get some pushback on Blazing Saddles because a lot of people love I mean, Blazing, Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles is good too, though. It's really funny. But I think Airplane... We also okay, reacted com to that. Comment down below. What do you... Like, this is such a random... Your favorite spoof movie. Yeah, unrelated, but like... Out of like airplane, naked gun, blazing saddle, scary movie, whatever else, what's your kind of top comedy of that time? I feel like Young Frankenstein kind of can be counted. Yeah, too. no, for sure. Mel Brooks. Yeah, which we also, also Spaceballs, you know? Yeah. Spaceballs is like that. I haven't seen that in a long time. I haven't long, seen long that time. in a very long time either. But Casey has seen that, so that's mm -hmm. the only reason we haven't reacted to it on this channel. But I think there's some other ones that are. Yeah. You know, scary movie kicked off. We'll call it a resurgence of these spoof movies in like the mid 2000s. Yeah. That honestly, I can't even tell you how many there are. I know that there's like a superhero movie. I know. We didn't I think get any comments about that one. The Wayan Brothers came back and did another franchise called like Haunted House, which I think mm. spoofed things like The mm. Conjuring and whatnot, which I think I saw the first one. Maybe we'll go and watch that one. You know? Yeah. Let us know if you want to see Casey react to that for the first time because I've seen I have a few seen of these. The Conjuring. There was a, a few other ones. I like... didn't like it. <laughs> I was, well, okay. She refused to watch the That's second one. That's not a good like phrase. I, Casey had I nightmares for two weeks. <laughs> of The Conjuring. <laughs> yeah. I do understand that it's a it's a well done movie though. She's a big scaredy cat. Yeah, she never watched The Conjuring 2, which yeah. I actually think The Conjuring 2, in my opinion, is better than the first Conjuring. Um, but yeah, that's like a whole universe now. It's like right. the MCU. I think they connected like the Ouija board <laughs> the movie to that too. MCU. I'm not even kidding. Not like, I think dang. they connected that to it. But other than that, I know there's some other ones that they were made out. That Vampire Suck was a spoof. Somebody else said like not another teen movie, but that might be very raunchy too, right? It's really raunchy. Okay. I saw that one. I think it's. Really I see. Awesome. I just like. I don't feel like that's like. I'm. I'm not trying to be like. Oh, I like. I refuse to watch that stuff. But I just don't think that's like my favorite type of humor. You know, mm. like this kind of like. If y'all have recommendations that are more akin to like airplane, naked gun, scary movie three, blazing saddles. Yeah, scary movie three. Like obviously, I did enjoy the first ones. The mm. first two though. But like, this is the kind I, I think right. I like the most. Rank them. The movies. Yeah, scary movie one through three. Scary movie three. Scary Movie 1, Scary Movie 2. Yeah, I think for me it's Scary Movie 3, Scary Movie 2, Scary mm. Movie 1. But I think I just remembered Scary Movie 2. I think I probably watched Scary Movie 2 before I watched Scary Movie 1. And it was like a big mm. scandalous mm. thing. Like my cousin snuck off. Yeah. Me and my cousin snuck off to go watch that when my parents were asleep. And it was like a Thanksgiving like weekend or whatnot. And we like snuck into my uncle's like uh, like room and took the movie and went, <laughs> went and watched it. Uh, while everyone else was sleeping. So I feel like it just kind of has like, yeah, nostalgia. you know, nostalgia for me. Yeah. And then that's why like when I watched the first one, like after the fact, it just, I don't know if I watched it with them. So it just didn't have that same like effect on me. Uh, but I think they're kind of comparable, you know, yeah. I think, you know, in terms of like humor and whatnot, like you, what you said, the, the second one probably had a little bit more of a narrative. 
However, I still enjoyed it. I do think that the Wayan Brothers style of humor is very unique. And like they do it very well for what they're trying to achieve. You know another movie of theirs that I haven't seen in so many years? White Chicks. Oh, I loved White Chicks when I was When younger. I was a kid, yeah. I feel like, you know, there's a few things I remember about White yeah. Chicks, but the, obviously the thing is with Terry Crews, yeah, right? Yeah, when he's the, like, da 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 no, oh, wait, the... wait, we're talking about two different no. things. I was, I was oh, thinking like, I'm thinking about, about when he's dancing to EDM. <laughs> <That's laughs> so that's a, there's multiple scenes. That's a really good movie, too. Oh my gosh. I love that movie. You know what? Fuck it. Maybe we'll rewatch that on the yeah, channel Yeah, rewatching one day. White Chicks. That, like, when I was a kid, that was, like, the comedy a lot of people talked about. It's funny because, I mean, I'm six years older than Casey. Yeah. That came out in 2004. How old were you? You were eight. Yeah. <laughs> I was like 14. So, so maybe when like a lot of y'all were watching the scary movies as like kids, kids. I mean, only about a year away from That's how one. I was with like white chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, I think that was a big parody of like Paris Hilton and what was the other one? Nicole you, Richie. Yeah, the... Uh, uh, the, the simple, simple life. Simple life. Yes. Uh, you know what's funny? I remember watching every single episode of that with my parents. You like let me borrow your DVD for I the have Simple the DVD. Life when I was, we, we were like Give dating. me a moment. Give me a moment. Anyway, Anthony and I were dating and he like let me borrow his Simple Life DVDs and I never gave him back. But then we got married so it didn't matter. So It took too long to lock, look for the first one but I found the Simple Life 2. <laughs> Hey, that's, Road trip. that, like, they walked so reality TV, well, okay, that's not necessarily true. There was more before them, but, like, that was, like, an OG in terms of, like, how we view reality TV nowadays. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let us know what other spoof movie you um, want to see. We like doing comedies on watch. this channel. If there's other yeah. comedies just in general, let us know. You know, funny enough, we're talking about Vampire Suck. Look at the shirt that Casey's wearing right now. It's literally Loka. about that. Yeah. <laughs> We were like re-watching Twilight just for fun and one. like we were like l dying laughing and like it was yeah. so cringe but like it's still like iconically cringe and yeah. we were like oh my gosh. Spider May Monkey. I, the Vampire Suck though, I don't think you ever saw that I one. haven't. So okay, maybe we, we should can do watch that, that one. Um, maybe the superhero movie. Superhero movie, movie Haunted House I think might be another good funny one because I think one of the big ones in that one is Conjuring. So okay. you will know the references because yeah. you know Annabelle. Yeah, you know Annabelle, I do. like even though we never saw the Annabelle movie, I think there's multiple now, which is kind of funny to think about. But she knows that I reference, know. and just let us know. Drop yeah. it in the comments. Also, let us know if you want to see us continue this franchise. There's but like, like two more, right? I think Three. four and five. But they're also, I think, referencing a lot of other movies that you may not have seen. And I know that really wasn't like the biggest case in the first two because yeah. I didn't really. I know you had already watched the Scream movies, but you know they referenced a few other things during the, that film. The second one, you just kind of went in blind. Like, you didn't know what to expect. I think I told you beforehand that they're going to reference, like, The Exorcist. I mean, I read off a lot of the stuff that actually was going to be spoofed yeah. in that one. But most of those movies I never even saw. So, even to this point, I don't even know what the hell they're referencing yeah. for a lot of the joke. I think, like, if, it, if it can stand on its own without you having to see it. Like, obviously, you get a greater appreciation if you have. But, like, if you can yeah. still follow the movie and, like, think it's funny without it, I feel like then it did a good job. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.